This truck's really growing on me. The more I use it, the more I like it. Well, this is really something. The MST CFX WS DC1 with the uh, Proline Super Swamper TSL SX. That's so their 4.35 inch tires and they're on the G8 compound and they're using the standard foams and they're on cheap uh, Team Raffi steely rims from Asia T's. Ah, uh, now we need to cut these shackle mounts off the front bumper. It's another worthwhile change, I think that should be made. Right now the steering arm is catching on the rock, but we get past that. So to avoid what just happened before, we might need to try and get higher up the rock if possible. With smaller diameter tyres you don't have as many options. There we are, there we are. So I'll try and start a bit higher this time. That's surprisingly realistic, that, uh, that front popping at the front left. Real cars do that. This is cool. See the front tyre deforming? Yeah. This is kind of messy. problem one, but I don't know if you'd really count that. I just can't quite reach. Now if you think about this in real life, you're not going to be attempting anything like this, which is why I didn't bother in the first instance when we did the review. Although this is a one-tenth vehicle, these problems really are a bit much to expect uh, most vehicles to do. However, our fancy little models we get used to having these days are very capable, so I've needed to make these difficult. But then when you get a more scale beastie like this, it uh, kind of shows behind behind uh, what's actually going on, uh, a real scale vehicle really is vastly more limited. But that's kind of what makes crawlers fun too. I'm trying to hook the front right wheel up on the rock. I think that's our only hope. This is gonna end in a topple. Two's happening. If I get the line right, it is possible. This servo is not sounding good. Unconventional, but they're up. It wasn't pretty. There we go. It did do it, it was just ugly. I will apologize in advance. I'm going to need to do some. Uh, cringy things with the throttle on this problem. Because if momentum doesn't carry us forward from this second one, uh, we'll high point in the middle. We get one chance with this, really. Huh. I did say to be ugly, but we did it. I'm so sorry, little DC1. You didn't ask for this. No, 
nice. Okay, not so nice. I'm so sorry, little car. It's not actually over yet, believe it or not. Look at that. Isn't that impressive? Now the front bar is quite bendy. You might have noticed that it flexed as it brushed past the rock. Not good in real life, but for our scale purposes, definitely good. Oh, this is really nice. Keep in mind, this truck could not... It couldn't do any of these problems with the stock wheels and tyres. Mm, we're pretty out of shape now. There we go. What I do here really will make or break. There we are. <laughs> I had a couple of mils of tolerance, I think, for left or right. We've done it. it wasn't completely tidy, but it did it. Now, problem six isn't likely at all, I don't think. We can't even get off the start line. Now the fact that we finished more than two problems uh, is wonderful. In fact, we've done, gee, we've done all of them so far. Problem one was messy, you could half count it, I guess. We did get to the end, it was just messy. I definitely see the potential. Yeah, okay. Uh, maybe not. She got close though. <laughs> it's messy driving. Uh, don't, uh, don't, don't drive like this. Let me ruin my trucks. Oh wow! Well. So it is a. Uh... It's certainly got decent balance, you know, it's um, it's not just giving up and flipping. The servo is cool to the touch, the motor is, uh, I can get to it, I can't reach it, here we are. The motor is cool to the touch, so the electronics are good. It's such a noisy, it's almost like the uh, pinion on the uh, it's almost like the grub screw on the on the pinion is ticking the edge of the uh, the spur gear, but I checked it. That's not the case. Minimal damage too, by the way, which is good. I might just give this one more shot. I'll tell you what's hot though. The ESC is quite hot. It's a WP1060, and it's pushing a 16 turn, five pole, 540 uh, Crawl Master Sport. Ridiculous. Hey! <laughs> I think I think we can almost call that. Isn't that crazy? Let's just see how close this is here. It really is nearly up. Now I wasn't a fan of this thing when I tested, and I'll just get them. When I did the review, I used the MST uh, DC tire. It's the 30 by 105, 1.9 tires. They've got SCX 10 three wheels and foams in them, and that made them better because the stock foams were useless. But they're almost the same size as the uh, Super Swampers. This uh, is interesting because the compound and tread on the Super Swampers is way nicer than the no, DC tires. I got zero out of six problems done with this thing, and so now we've we've got four to six uh, problems done with these tires. They're the same size but different. Here's the point, though. 
you saw on several problems, particularly this comes through on problem three and problem six, where you've got a, a really steep incline and it's got a kind of pop up. This truck is light enough that you get away with doing that. I see real potential in this thing as a comp platform for C1 especially. Get the uh, get the tyres right. They'll need to be slightly smaller again. Uh, but get the tyres right and get an interior or even just a floor pan in there so that you're blocking the, uh, the wiring and whatnot. This has real potential to be a comp track platform and that's what I'm really excited about. The change just with those different tyres, even though they're the same size, it doesn't take away from the look, but gee, the performance is night and day. I'm going to cut these shackle mounts off the front bar. I'm going to try and move the front bar in a bit as well. The rear is actually pretty good how it is. The, uh, the links are all good. The geometry is great, honestly. If you build one yourself, keep things light. Use lightweight components. You don't need high power servo. Just the um, uh, JX Servo 5323LV is a really good option. I'm using a five pole motor, which suits this as well. You've got plastic shafts and the transmission won't be super strong. Uh, a, a, let's say a 12 to 16 turn five pole 540 is ample. WP 1060 is ample and then run the whole thing on 3S and you'll be sorted. Uh, this has been really good. The suspension's in stock position. Everything's just stock and the truck just works. Once you toss those uh, stock tires that really aren't worth, they just, they suck. So throw me a like if this was interesting. I certainly uh, am pleased to bring you better news from this platform because there's real potential here. Thanks for joining me for this one. I'll catch you next time on RCTNT.